Hey guys, Fixer Grid here today. So today we're gonna be doing the head gasket on a uh, 85 Toyota pickup. It's carbureted, so it's got a 22R, not a 22RE. And it's basically the same thing for a 22R or a 22RE, um, or even a 20R, they're all the same. So I'm gonna show you how to take the head off. Um, this one had a blown head gasket between two and three and it had low compression. So I'm gonna show you what that kind of looks like. And if you like what my videos are doing for you, and, all the information you get out of it just give me a like give me a subscribe comment down below tell a friend about it you know i got plenty of videos coming out it's going to tell you how to be your own mechanic and tips and tricks of the trade so if you like it give me a like give me a subscribe and uh thanks here we go so first of all you want to drain your coolant find your pet cock and you want to crack that open and start draining your coolant so your next step is you want to take your hose off here so you got screw clamps the phillips are 15 16 and you want to take these 12s off here and get your air cleaner off. And there is some hoses underneath you got to be mindful of, so just don't pull too hard. And you should be able to find them. Now that's off, you can go ahead and start spraying your exhaust. And I usually use the Deep Creep and the Silicone WD-40. that penetrates it really well if you don't break anything off. So you just soak your exhaust really well and you can do that. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and loosen your belts. There's a forcing screw and I think that is like a 17 and that's a 12 and you loosen that up and get that belt loose and I do believe that on your alternator there's a bolt there, it's a 12 and the bottom I think it's like a 12 or a 14 and then you just loosen that and then you push your alternator in with like a pry bar. Next step is that you want to go ahead and go after these 12. So there's four of them on each claw, I guess, or bank. So it's for your intake, you got one, two, three, and then one underneath there, and then you got one, two, three, four underneath there. For your carbureted ones, like this one, you gotta take your fuel pump off. So go ahead and take these 12 here and here on the other side, and you gotta take your hose off here and here. On your uncarbureted ones, you got a little bit more to do because you got the whole huge EFI thing. So. so at this part you want to take out these four 12 millimeter bolts in the front and back here underneath your EGR. Take that loose so you can get your 12 underneath your bracket for your throttle cable. So after you get your EGR loose like that, you want to make sure you mark your hoses. So this one here. So once the EGR is off, loosen this 12 here, get that out of the way so you can get better access to all your other stuff. You get this bolt out that holds on this line here, and you can get the rest of your bolts too. So on the intake bolts, you're going to need a 12 mm wrench for the bottom one here, and this top one here. You want to get that loose. One hidden bolt way down, see it? You got to get that guy. One hidden bolt underneath here. I'm gonna take this loose here so this will come. That's one assembly and take off your hoses and mark these. You need to take this bracket off that's for your force and screw and all that stuff, and then you need to make sure you get like a chain tool like this, or it might come off when you got the belt on. That's a 19, take off your power steering pulley. So these are vice grip chain pliers. I think I got these off Amazon, I can't remember, but yeah, just you can get by them and they, they work great just put them in the groove like that and clamp down so once your pulley's off I'll make sure you get your keyway off there because if you lose that then you're kind of s about 14 and the 14 here on the bottom and there's one here in the back you just want to make sure you can get your pump loose so you can get in here and get this bracket loose so now that the pump's out of the way the next step is that we're going to take away and take the cap off and these wires are marked one two three four so it's pretty easy you'll have to mark them then we're going to go after our exhaust shield here, and then we're going to go, these are 13s and 12s, and then the bolts in the middle, those are 12s, so we're going to take those off, and we should be able to keep the exhaust and just pry it back out of the way. And other models, see that piece of metal right there on the pipe? That's a flange, and it usually mounts the engine and keeps the pipe tight. This one, they didn't do it, so I don't have to worry about it. So, here we go. 
So once you got your exhaust bolts all loose, and this is like that, you have this pipe here, and it goes around the back side of the block, and they're either 12s or 13s, and you need like a ratchet wrench, or just a quarter inch ratchet with a 12 or a 13. You gotta take this, and there's a plate on the back, get take off. So once you take this bracket off, it's 213s, take that out of the way, pull that over here, you go off these 12s, and then we're gonna pull our valve cover off. So once you get your screws off, you'll put a screwdriver underneath all of these and pry those out because you won't get your valve cover off unless you take these off first. So now that that's off, you got your spanner wrench in here and you're going to make sure that you see your little dot in there. That's got to be lined up with that arrow right there. And I just put paint on it and kind of make sure it's all lined up. And you want to make sure your crank is lined up on zero. And then you want to have your cap off. And when I mark where your rotor is, just when you go back, so you this 12, take that out on, over here, take that 12 out. So you want to get a spanner here and hold that tight, and then you want to break it loose with a 19 millimeter wobbly impact, or else you won't be able to get it out. So this is what your tool kind of looks like. I got a block of wood in there right now, and the main thing is you want it kind of angled and straight on one side, so you push it down in there, so it goes, the angle part goes against your tensioner. And then you just wedge it in there with a screwdriver and have a cord on it and you can pull it out once you're all said and done. You just don't want your chain to move from where it's at right now. So you just put pressure on both sides of your guides. So you can remove your bracket bolts now and get that out of the way. Now that you got your uh, sprocket out of the way, you got to take off this 12 millimeter head bolt. And then go ahead and take out your 18 millimeter head bolts all the way to the back here. And you should be able to pull your bolts out and pull your rockers out. All right, everybody, so you should just be able to pry right here, see, the head's moving. So just be careful not to mar the mounting, or the mounting surface because you could uh, make a big boo-boo pretty quick. So you just want to move it a little bit like that and shake them off. Now. So we got the head off, and you can see down there it's a blown head gasket. You got some cooling in the cylinders and all that good stuff, but it was also burning some oil. So when you take your head off, you want to pull it straight off. Because if you don't, and you try to like wiggle it this towards you or anything like that, you're going to break these timing chain guides. And you don't want to do that because you got to take this whole front off. you got to take the oil pan off. And it's, it's just added on to your job and you don't want to do that. So your next step is you want to take this gasket off. And you start cleaning it and just make it nice and shiny. Use some razor blades and scotch bright and stuff like that to make it nice and shiny. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, so if that was helpful, I hope... You know, it helped you in some way so you can be your own mechanic and get this job done that you need to get done. So, if you like my video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, you know, tell, tell your friend about it. I'm always on my phone, so if you need any help with comments or anything like that, let me know and I can, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, hopefully this is helpful. I'm going to try to do a part two. Um, so, if I do, I'm going to show you how to do some scraping and try to tell you what the torques are and how to do the torques and all that good stuff. But... Um, so thanks for watching and you just give me a like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and make sure you click that bell because then I mean you get all my new content that's coming out every day basically I'm trying to make a video every day now um, so just yeah thanks for watching